You have to insist and insist and insist and insist. If you believe in something, stick on that and in the end you will have your own reward. We are at Mozzarella Bar, it's one of my shop. We produce here, uh, uh, we sell in the mozzarella that we produce in Cape Town. It's a very simple concept, it's just a sandwich, salad and uh, pizza, very good pizza. I'm from Italy, as you know already, and uh, good mozzarella goes with uh, very good pizza. That is the range of product that we do here. People like it, particularly in summer, where uh, it's hot, it's particularly very hot in the last couple of weeks, and uh, something fresh and light is what people are looking for. Fresh mozzarella, we have in a range of uh, different ones, from the burrata, from the nodino, the little ball, the fior di latte, there are different shapes of mozzarella with different texture. Are all uh, produced with uh, cow milk, that, that is what's available in uh, Cape Town. And uh, I believe the quality is very good. Uh, like in Italy, if it's not better than some part of Italy. That is what is my belief. All right, this is a, a plate that we serve in this uh, little uh, deli. And we have um, four samples of our mozzarella. We have the classic uh, burrata that I will open now. It's very creamy inside. This one we call a nodine, just um, knots of uh, mozzarella. This is a fumicata, that means it's been smoked. And this one is the classic uh, fior di latte. We always serve with uh, three different sauces uh, and a paste of uh, tomato, paste of uh, basil, and paste of olives with some balsamic vinegar. The beauty of uh, this dish is that you can taste uh, four different flavor and texture. Uh, my favorite is always the burrata one for the beautiful of uh, the inside. You see how fresh and creamy it is. You can see from here. And uh, if we open uh, one on a nodini, you can see that the consistency is completely different. It's more dry, if I can say. It's not dry, but looks uh, more dry. And same will be for the fior di latte. It's also extremely soft, uh, as you can see, but it's more uh, solid. And this one is just uh, beautiful, soft uh, and cream. And the affumicata will be exactly the same. It's much more dry because it's been uh, aged a little bit. It has a different color. We dry age uh, for uh, two weeks uh, and then smoke uh, with uh, a dust of uh, uh, wine uh, trees wood. This is Cabernet. This is the selection that we prepare in here and we sell in here. And this is the Fior di Latte that we normally use on our pizza and we will use uh, just now. This pizza is made by, as usual, a lot of work <laughs> and good ingredients and some uh, technique and some skill. Uh, for me, what is very important is the fermentation of the uh, pizza dough. It doesn't have to ferment in the stomach of my client, but has to ferment uh, in the prover or uh, in the rest before uh, everyone eats it. So the whole uh, trick is, uh, the whole magic is to wait. And uh, every of my uh, pizza dough is prepared the day before and uh, we sell it only after minimum 24 hours. In this way, the yeast uh, does his work and finish almost to do his work, and it will not ferment in the stomach of people. And in the meantime, as ferment develop all the interesting flavor that I want to achieve and I want to have in the bread, uh, in the bread dough, in the pizza dough uh, during the fermentation. So give a, a very light pizza in the end with a lot of uh, bubble into the dough. That's what I'm looking for and a big, big flavor. So this for me is a good pizza. In Cape Town, it's used to be served a very, very thin uh, burnt pizza with any possible topping. At Mozzarella Bar, we only have four toppings, the most classic uh, from Italy. The pizza is slightly more, more higher without any burning uh, uh, ring, and uh, it tastes very good. And people like it, it's very soft, very juicy, with a very interesting crust at the bottom, very crunchy crust at the bottom. That's for me is what is a good pizza. People in the beginning are a bit suspicious, but when they try it, they love it and they come back for more and more. I hope. <laughs> Allora, the dough. Dough we use in local flour. For me, it's very important to use uh, local flour. I have a private meal that uh, 
prepare for me what I'm looking for, what I like. Uh, we, after a few months of work, uh, uh, arrive to the right uh, uh, grain of, uh, of uh, milling. It is a, a grain that has been uh, harvested um, 50 kilometers out of Cape Town. It's a co-op of farmer. They all uh, supply this, the same small mill. They are all partner in the mill. They supply the mill and the mill prepare what we're looking for. We use it uh, for all my bread, my pastry and my pizza. Then we need the yeast. I use uh, <coughs> a very uh, old, old mother yeast. It's 150 years old, come from Italy. We, I work with that dough for um, almost 20 years. With that uh, yeast, uh, sorry, for my dough for almost 20 years. It's very strong, it's very powerful. Has a fantastic uh, flavor, in my opinion. Develop an incredible power on the dough. I will show you later on in some picture how the pizza raised. We do two fermentation on our pizza, one for 24 hours, another for an hour and a half, two hours before we bake the pizza. By the time it's in the oven, the yeast has the last power to raise a little bit the pizza, make the right bubble, and uh, cook beautiful. Why are we using mother yeast and not uh, dry yeast or instant yeast or beer yeast? Because uh, I believe that everything done with the right time, it tastes better than anything done fast and quick. And I believe that my mother yeast is uh, fantastic in, 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 in flavor. It takes, of course, uh, longer than any dry yeast, but the, I know where I come from. I regenerate it every day with my own flour. It's something that I have control and I have passion too. And the result is completely different than any other is that I try. That's why I insist on that, even if it's a lot of more work. But uh, when somebody try, I believe that can really feel the difference. It is a completely different product. But again, it's time. And people today, they don't have time. They don't want to wait. They want to have something always instant and quick. That's not what I do, what I believe, and uh, this is what I show you just now. Good pizza needs to be raised, as need to have bubble inside, need to have a, a good aroma on the nose. Even a simple <coughs> focaccia without any topping on top has to taste good. And the one we produce uh, now is uh, phenomenal as it is. If you then use uh, a very simple topping, and for me, is a margarita, my favorite, where it's tomato, mozzarella, basil, olive oil, and a bit of oregano. It's the best uh, uh, way to try a pizza. Unfortunately, here yeah, people like uh, any possible topping, like avocado, like uh, pepperoni, like pineapple. They don't find it in my shop. As I told you earlier, we have only four. One is with camorza, where it's a typical Italian mature cheese. We have uh, margarita, as I mentioned. We have uh, crudo and uh, rocket uh, uh, pizza. That is our range, there are only four, and uh, I work with those ones, and these are the only option in this uh, shop. But they're well done. The space is small, we can do something good, in small quantity, we don't have space for a big quantity or much variety of ingredients. That's what I do for my little shop here. This uh, pizza has been made uh, this morning, and we can only sell it tomorrow for lunch time. So it will be 24, 25, 26 hours from uh, when it's been prepared. It stay now in this uh, uh, container for the whole uh, day and night. It will go in the fridge after a, a couple of hours in a dry uh, control uh, uh, prover at 22 degrees. And then tomorrow, get the uh, out of the fridge, we let her uh, come at uh, uh, room temperature again, and then we make a small bowl, like I will show you later. We flat them, we prepare it, and when uh, our, uh, after an hour, an hour, and a half, two hours, depending on the weather, swallow again, uh, prove again, we are ready to bake. And we have a fantastic product, in my opinion. So this is what uh, we're going to use tomorrow, and uh, I will show you what uh, we will use uh, today, the one I made uh, yesterday at the same time, is almost ready. Good. Look how beautiful is this bubble, you see? It's super alive, it's very happy. I very much enjoy to look all day for my yeast and to see what's happening in this uh, container is phenomenal, if you really 
understand something about bread. I'm sure most of your readers are uh, crazy as I am about baking is the most fantastic uh, thing in the world. And uh, create something from water and flour, so tasty and so good, is phenomenal to me. Now we're looking for getting the right time to develop all the enzyme work and tomorrow we will test again something beautiful. Well, this is the one for tomorrow. Very important and what I believe is uh, on that, this beautiful piece of wood, hard wood. We're getting our wood from uh, Namibia possible because it's super hard so it lasts uh, very well uh, in the oven and also has a fantastic flavor when it burns and give this little flavor also to the pizza. I believe in fire, here it is, I believe in fire, nothing else. Cooking with uh, an electric oven today is very simple, it's much more clean, it gets hot in a few minutes, it's uh, fast again, but uh, doesn't give uh, any flavor. Running an oven like our one, the classic uh, Italian pizza oven, is uh, much more expensive to run, because wood costs quite a lot, is, uh, has to be clean uh, a couple of times a day, so obviously need work. And uh, it's very bulky, it's very big uh, for uh, time and, and money. Most of the people today choose the electric one because it's just quick and fast and cheaper. Wood and good fire is what can make uh, a very good pizza, in my opinion, very good for kitchen. Namibian wood and good uh, dough. A good pizza dough has to be always very soft. A light one is very wet. You have to absorb a little water to give the right freshness and crunchiness when it's um, out. What Peter does now, he weights uh, the dough. Our portion is 200 grams. Most of the portion of pizza are always 200 grams. See how soft it is, super soft, the fantastic uh, pizza, okay? number one. See how I respond, uh, when, uh, when the little ball are alive, as you press it, you see how rebound back, you see how respond. See, if I press this one, you see how immediately it's alive, you see, this is a bit sticky, my finger, you see. Is alive, bounce back. There's so much energy in those little balls. The fingerprint doesn't get, uh, is alive, is living, it's full of activity inside. That's fantastic, that's what I want. This is a life, it's busy developing. Is it the last uh, hour before it becomes a beautiful pizza? This is also a very important time <clears throat> because Peter does all with his hand. We don't use any roller pin has to be done by hand. Peter does very well without uh, giving any pain to the dough. Beautiful and soft. Thank you, Peter. Put the lid on top. Okay, put it again in, uh, in the prover to get um, the last rise of the yeast and in an hour it's ready for the oven. Peter, before he uh, <clears throat> came to work for me, he used to work in uh, many other pizzerias in uh, Cape Town. Right, Peter? Yes. And uh, he never wore the pizza in this way. They were just uh, mixing uh, flour and water. In some places, they don't even use yeast. And they prepare it in the morning, and they sell it in the afternoon. They prepare it in the afternoon, they sell it at night. It's not uh, what I believe is the right uh, way to do it. And in the beginning, when he came and worked for me, he was very suspicious about uh, my system. He wasn't very happy at all. You remember, Peter? We were not happy. And then uh, after we made one and he tasted, he immediately liked it. And uh, he understand uh, and he enjoyed to do it this way because it's uh, much more uh, light, healthy, and tastes uh, better, I believe, than any other pizza has been made before. Right, Peter? Yes, sir. And you are? I am the best. The best. The other best. Oh, in the world. In the world, okay. Is enough in uh, Cape Town, okay? We have uh, one uh, ready dough. 
This is what I love. I want to see this bubble in my door. There is a life inside of this bubble. This has been uh, fermented, as I told you earlier, 24 hours in a big container and then uh, two hours in this little pan. So now it's ready to go into the oven at 400 degrees. Simple as it is. In Italy, everyone, uh, most of the people do their pizza into the oven. I like to do it in the pan for the simple reason because with a bit of olive oil at the bottom, the pizza makes a fantastic crust at the bottom. That is the only difference between a normal pizza and uh, the pizza that we do into the pan. Pizza al pentolino, we call it in Italy. Pizza nella pentola. It's not uh, as popular as the uh, thin, thin based pizza or the Napolitano style, but this is uh, a style that I like uh, and uh, there's a completely different style that uh, everyone does in Cape Town. And usually I always like to do something that has not been done uh, before or try to do something that I believe can be done better. Now we're going into the oven. We're using just now pizza dough. We will add a bit of uh, olive oil on top and some oregano, nothing else. This one we send it always out to our customer as an appetizer. So just for them to understand what we're doing here. We also sprinkle some good um, Parmesan cheese. All right. That's what I like to see bubble inside of the bread. That's what I want to see. Or the focaccia, sorry, not of the bread. Very light, it's very crunchy. The bottom one, as you can see, is lightly gold. Doesn't have to be burned, but it has to be just gold. Give a beautiful flavor from the oven. That's what we like to do here. I don't have to import uh, from anywhere. My dough is local, is fresh. Get meal every time we order, so it's always extremely fresh. And uh, all that, I believe, uh, you can see in the final product. The freshness, the aroma, the flavor, and uh, the consistency as well. It never changes. When something arrives from uh, overseas, it's been in the container for already a couple of months, it's been in some depot for a lot of months, and every local supply buy a big bag, so sometimes the flour is already five, six, seven months old by the time we receive it. I like to use something that is very fresh and give a better quality product. Good food takes time, it takes time and a lot of work. I read an interview yesterday from a friend of mine in Italy, the best chef in Italy, Massimo Bottura, and he said uh, that uh, to produce uh, something very good, and I agree 100%, you need 10% of uh, skill and uh, intelligence and 90% of hard work. I believe in Thailand on what you say, and that's what I do since ever. That's probably why we are such a good friend. So a pizza should look like. As you can see, it's nice and soft inside, beautiful gold at the bottom. That's what makes uh, a crunchy pizza at the bottom, very juicy on top uh, with uh, a beautiful topping from uh, fantastic fresh mozzarella, fresh tomato, and beautiful fresh uh, ingredient. Here we are. As you see today, it takes a long time also to prepare a simple bowl of flour and water and yeast and salt and olive oil. But I believe that done in this way, everyone can eat it as many they like, will never blow in their stomach and uh, will be easy to digest in not even uh, 20 minutes or an hour. And this is why customers come back because they find it extremely tasty and very easy to digest. Even if you drink uh, one or two beer on top of or with uh, the pizza, you will never feel uh, that swallowing or uh, uh, blowing uh, <laughs> something like that for many times somewhere else. Enjoy if you like to test it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We've done it. Trying to do the is what and is the done thereof, in every butchery that, uh, for many sure years, for flavors are well in rounded as well, well roasted. To mature so the meat in the right way. Uh, the not in vacuum pack, not in bag, but in ventilated room.